Here's a couple of cool blues ideas. If I'm playing in G, so I've got a G7 chord, what I can do is play these two notes on the top strings. So I'm playing number seven on the E string, number six on the B string. And those are both from the chord G7. So if you know your arpeggios, So it's a couple of notes on the chord. And if you move that down a semitone, all of a sudden you've got a couple of notes from a C7, which is the next chord. Okay, so you can use that when you're soloing. So let's say you only know a blues scale. What you can do is go, when you want the sound of G, And when you want C, so right then I went from C, little blues lick, and then back to G. So you can really follow the chords when you when you play with this. It's really nice to play over the one and the four chord and go. Another tip is when you're playing over the G, you want to really get the sound of this note that's on the G string. That's the major third of G. Uh, so that means it's the second note in the chord, G7. So it's really important that when you're getting the sound of G into your playing, as well as doing your blues stuff, you really want to land it there because that gives you the sound of G. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and uh, have a good day everyone, take care.